Good morning, afternoon and evening. What's up? Today, I'm not gonna waste a lot of your time. It's gonna be more of a short and, short and sweet video that I just thought after an intense five minutes of thinking. I'm gonna give you my opinion on how Call of Duty Vanguard can succeed. And they will only succeed if they implement some of these ideas. If you have any suggestions or ideas or disagree with me in any different way, let me know in the comments below and I'm gonna be happy to argue with you or to agree with you. You may be right. You never know. So first thing first, get rid of the SPMM. Okay, I know, crazy, I'm just going right into it. That's my style, I don't like to waste a lot of time. I already did by adding this. I know a lot of YouTubers, it is it's like a no-brainer to do this, I know, but I, it's, they are right, okay? And I have the same opinion, so I'm gonna mention it here because that's the topic of the video, okay? If you remove the SPMM, it's gonna be much fun to play, to level up the guns, to play different modes. And I'm gonna be honest with you, Screw the new players. If you're that type of player that get in a game and get wrecked and then uh, leave the game forever, then you don't deserve a penis, okay? You need to grow some balls. A true player needs to learn the hard way. That way, it's gonna be much more rewarding. I am a wise man. You make it fun for us hardcore fans slash, you know, casual gamers that love Call of Duty. We're gonna be more inclined to buy your stupid bundles on the new guns, okay? The new, the new players won't spend any money on those. No, no, no. They don't care about that. We care about that. And speaking of new guns, the thing that they need to do perfectly is, of course, make the guns good. All of them. You don't make one overpowered and the rest in the dump. Picture this. You just launch the game and you have like 20 weapons. And they're all good. The excitement of playing with and trying different guns because they're all good is amazing. Make them competitive, make them balanced. Because that way, again, we're gonna spend more money in the shop. But nobody's gonna spend any money in the shop on a gun that is crap. Remember, this year you are facing a true competition in Battlefield, which is a lot of hype behind it, okay? Everybody's sick of it, of this Call of Duty and the hackers and all that, in War of and all that, okay? So make, you need to make the, the, the extra work, you need to put in the extra work if you want to have sales, okay? That's simple. Okay, so the next thing is of course Warzone. Make the implementation from Vanguard into Warzone perfect. If you remember, Cold War didn't have the best integration of weapons in Warzone. I don't know what I'm talking. It was the worst. The integration of the weapons from Cold War into Warzone was as ugly as a tiger's butthole. If you do this properly with the new guns from the Vanguard, then more people are gonna Play the game to level up the guns and use them in Warzone because let's be honest, more player, more players, the majority of players are playing Warzone. So we need to make them buy the new game. And another thing, we know, already know that it's gonna be a new map in Warzone. And uh, also that map needs to be perfect, not a risky of an uh, advanced place. The vibe needs to be 40s or 30s or whatever. Also. Come on, put in some destructibility into the buildings. And also a side note on the multiplayer side, give us proper maps. Don't give us a big ass map to play 6v6 because it's gonna be boring. Why is Nuketown so successful? We need more maps like that, please. So that's all for me, guys. The gameplay background was awesome. I was dominating and I was the best in the team. But I'm not gonna make you watch the whole thing just like that, okay? But if you wanna see more of me beasting, check out my other videos because I'm awesome. This one, it was more of a serious discussion. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me, let me know in the comments below what you think about it. I know I'm smart, but I'm not the smartest. So you guys may know a lot of more things and come up with a lot of, a lot of ideas, good ideas. Thank you. And if you're new to the channel, boop that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs>